Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to be taking a look at the Zune Hub or Music Hub on Windows Phone 7 Mango. So let's go ahead and go into the hub. Here it is, you can see the artist face, and that changes just like it did before when you're listening to different artists. Now for copyright reasons, I can't play any of the music, but I can show you how it looks and works when we're using music. I'll go ahead and turn this down here, and as you'll see, it pops down and gives you a 0 through 30 indicator, just like it did before, but in larger numbers, so it's easier to see. Now, here's the hub, here's the history. If I pivot or move to the right, we've got music, video, podcasts, radio, and marketplace. Now, my favorite thing about the update is the podcast, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's go into the music, and here are all of our artists listed. You can see the, the letters kind of incrementing. If I want to search through them, and I've got a lot more than this, I can just tap tap on one of the letters and it shows me which one is highlighted or meaning that's that's a letter that I have an artist assigned to or have something downloaded to so I go to K it'll bring me right to K and move around move around that way now if I want to see albums I just swipe and here I've got a bunch of different albums again with songs playlists genre artists and and that's for music now music is or videos are similar have a bunch of different videos here. Uh, we have TV. I don't have anything in there. It says it's lonely here. Connect your computer to sync videos. Music, same thing. I don't have any music videos or movies on here, but you get the idea, I think, with that. Now, podcasts, like I said, are, are one of my favorites. It says no antenna. The phone uses your headphones as an FM antenna. I must have hit FM, but we can look at that quickly instead, and we'll look at podcasts in a moment. But we just go scroll back and forth through through our radio like that and we can hit play and we could star a channel if that's what we like I don't really use that feature uh, but podcasts like I said I do so here's a bunch of podcasts that I listen to listen to a lot of different tech ones from twit uh, major Nelson radio all sorts of things I've listened to for quite some time and it separates them into audio and video now the the podcast being on here is nothing new, but being able to subscribe to them right here on the fly is something new. So let's take Windows Weekly, for example. We'll tap on Windows Weekly, and what it'll say is, I'm subscribed, because I can unsubscribe. There's also settings, and in those settings, I can decide how many podcasts at once I want to download. Since I listen to it every week, I just download the first one and get rid of it when the next one comes out. But that's up to you. We can put newest episode first, oldest episode first, and we have some more settings. Connect with Zoom, include music from Marketplace and Smart DJ. Now this is kind of related to everything, and only download new, pod, new podcast episodes over Wi-Fi. Let me go ahead and uncheck that, because I want it to download over 3G because I have unlimited. Now once I'm done with that, I can confirm those settings, and here we have Windows Weekly, 220, share printers. It'll give us an overview of that episode and what's in it, and there's the episode. If I want more episodes, I can tap on this and find the last episodes. Now the great thing about this for me is that it grabs the episodes automatically. It will look for them when they come out, when it's added to the feed, and go grab the episode. I don't have to go get it anymore. If I'm subscribed, it just downloads it into there. Similar to some other apps I've seen on iPhone, or, or Android, but this does it and it's built right into the phone and I like that. So let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see it's playing. I have the volume turned off so you can see that. And the numbers incrementing here. I can shuffle or repeat, which I really don't need to do here. If I had more podcast episodes, I could swipe and go next. I can do a jump in time, a 30 second jump by tapping here. I can hold and fast forward. And as the longer I hold, the faster it will fast forward. You can also pause, just like you'd expect, or play. Swipe down, it will give me that information. If I go back to the home screen, it keeps the latest artist. For whatever reason, it doesn't put the podcast info in here. And maybe that's something they'll fix with an update. I don't really know. But uh, what we'll do is, since we're listening to a podcast right now, even though you can't hear it, if we hit the volume button, it drops this down and gives us, our, gives us our information here. I can pause it right from in here, I can skip from right in here, and again it tells you what you're listening to. So I really like that information and it makes it really nice to, to listen to. If I swipe to the right, this is what we're playing in our history. 
shows everything else I played. So, but to get back, I just tap on that, I'm back. So we'll pause that for now. We'll go back. And in our history, like I said, we were listening to that in FM. We've got some artists here, uh, all sorts of different things. If I want to go right back to what I was listening to, say Mac Break Weekly, we'll tap on that and it will start up. And now it's pulling this over the internet because, or over Wi-Fi in this case, because I don't have it on here directly. It will stream over 3G or Wi-Fi, either one, and I really like that feature. So that's all in history. This will show you what's new. So if you have, this is newer, I downloaded that to listen to. Uh, these are newer podcast episodes, and it just throws this in here as they increment and, and become newly available. This also shows apps that I've used recently, Bringcast, Twit, YouTube, and it throws them in there because it knows it's music or video related. All really nice, and I really appreciate that. Down here we also have some settings. We can search Marketplace or play music. Kind of do the same thing by hitting Marketplace and looking at it, but if we want to search it, we could have searched quickly by going directly there from the last pivot or whatever you want to call it, window. In here again we have music, we'll go into music, and we can search the Zune Marketplace and listen to whatever. So if we want to scroll and say, oh I don't know, say we want hip hop. In hip hop it shows new releases for this week, and it goes back a while and just shows new releases. We can scroll to the right, top songs. Now I don't know what charts this is basing it off, but it's really nice that it has it. Again, top albums, top playlists that people have made. And we're back to top artists and new releases. Now what we can do is say we like th this here, Shake Life, we can download it or play. And we can do that with any one of these. If you have a Zoom Pass. If you don't have a Zoom Pass, you can still buy it, but you can't just listen to it on the fly. But anything you have in there with a Zoom Pass, which is $15 a month, and that also gives you 10 songs free a month. So you're really paying for 10 songs a month, plus you're paying 5 to stream whatever you want at all times. So it comes out to a pretty good deal if you uh, are like me and you want to buy your music and own your music, but also want to listen to everything. And do it legally. Now let's go ahead and show you one more feature that I like a lot. And see, it's bringing us through all these apps, and I don't really want that, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go into Music, and here's a feature I like a lot. So let's go to Amberlin. And since I like Amberlin, it says, do you want to make a smart DJ out of that? And I'll hit Smart DJ. You can see there's Amberlin, that's their album art, them in the background. And Smart DJ, what it does is grab songs like it. It's kind of like Apple's Genius Playlist. Uh, it works, but I think it works better. And if we tap here, it will show us the songs that are in the playlist. So here we have a Switchfoot song, Jimmy Eat World. It went back. Uh, we have more Switchfoot, more Amberlynn, uh, Skillet, Amberlynn. It just keeps going on, Snow Patrol, and tries to link together what you like. And the nice thing is, is I don't have a lot of these songs on here. It just goes out to the marketplace because I have a Zoom Pass and says, oh, you'll probably like these. Let's just group them together, throw them into the same interface, and let you listen to whatever you want. And I really appreciate that. Now, if I like a song, I can just give it a heart, and it will show up and, and kind of remember that. And here again, we have Play Smart DJ, Share, Save a Playlist, or Save as Playlist, More in Marketplace. I wanted to show you one more thing that I thought was really nice. Is see how we have, this is Anne Berlin, here's a bunch of their albums. I like them a lot, obviously, I've got all their albums here. Uh, we have songs that we can move to. We also have their bio information, which I think is pretty neat. You just don't see that on other platforms. So their bio information, this tells about them, if you want to read that. And then you can say what's related to them. And here you can see Emery, May, The Classic Crime, a bunch of different bands that are related to that style of music. And again, back to albums. So it just kind of really makes the music experience much better than, say, iTunes on iPhone or Android. To me, this phone offers the best, or ZunePass offers the best music experience. Yes, there's a lot of different options out there, and there's maybe some that you like better, uh, but I've used this for quite some time now. Even though I'm a, mostly an Apple user, I 
use this for music most of the time as far as Zoom Pass. In fact, I even have Zoom Pass, I even have a, a partition on my Mac for Windows just because I want to use Zoom Pass. So I wish they'd release a Mac client, but I don't know if that'll ever come around. Either way, though, I really like it and I think it's very full featured, really nice, especially when you've got a Zoom Pass. It just makes it that much better. Now, if you have any other questions or you have any thing that you actually think is better, seeing how I said I actually like that best of anything I've used, uh, please feel free to comment below and just let me know what you think of it. Overall though, I think it's pretty good uh, and would love to hear what you think about it. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.